All right. So in this video, I'll show you how you can connect two VPCs together using NCC Hub. So if you want to create a HubSpot architecture and you have multiple VPCs and you want those VPCs to, uh, and the working on in this in those VPCs to communicate with each other, you can configure that using NCC Hub. So what I've done for this video already is uh, I have two VPCs already created. Okay, so I have uh, prod VPC one, prod VPC two. Okay, and in these VPCs, I have VMs already created. Okay, so there is one VP, there is one VM over here. There is another VM over here. Okay, and these VPCs are not uh, paired with each other. Okay, so the VMs in these VPCs cannot ping each other. So you can see the ping is not happening. Okay. Now what I'll do is I'll configure NCC. I'll create NCC service. I'll search for network connectivity center. Okay, and I'll click over here, create hub. Okay. I'll call it as NCT hub. And uh, I want to create, let's say a mesh topology where all the spokes are connected to connect, uh, connected to each other as well as they can communicate with each other. Okay. You can also go with star topology. Only designated agents here and uh, center spokes are able to communicate with each other. Okay. If you want to create segmentation or you want to, uh, let's say, segregate the workloads. So you can see over here in the diagram as well. Okay. So right now I'm going with mesh topology where all uh, the VPCs would be connected to the hub as a uh, connected to the hub and they would be able to communicate with each other. Okay. So I'm going with this option. I am not enabling private service connect propagation right now. There is no private service connect as of now, which I have created. I'll say next. And from here itself, if you want, you can add spoke. Okay. So spoke in our scenario is the VPC. So I'll add one spoke as of now. So let's say this is VPC one spoke. We call it as prod VPC one. Okay, and I'll select my VPC or let me just uh, adjust it to look like same as a VPC name. Okay, I can add multiple spoke at the creation time itself, but I'm not doing that right now. I have to show you how you can do it later. Okay, so this is getting added. Let's give it a minute. You can see over here the NCC hub is created. Okay. And if I go to spoke, I'll see one spoke already connected. I can add more spoke. Okay. Before I do that, let's click on this and let's see what information we find over here. Okay. So from here also, you can find similar information. You can find the spoke related information. Okay. You can find the hub related information. You can uh, click on the edit hub. Okay, you can add description. You cannot do much over here. Okay, you cannot change the uh, type of the uh, uh, topology which you have selected. That's not possible as of now. Okay, and if I go to routes, okay, there is no routes as of now. Okay, you don't have much option to change the route as well. And if I go to spoke, I should be able to find one spoke. Okay, let's add one more spoke. Okay, and the spoke which we are adding is uh, VPC again. Okay, and I'll click on create. We'll add the second spoke for us. Getting created. Not much changes over here in terms of route. Let's wait for it to get created. And now you can see my uh, second spoke is also active. And as soon as this happens, the ping also would get enabled. So you can see my VMs are able to ping each other. Okay. So this is how you create NCC hub and you add spokes to it for uh, allowing a mesh based document. This is it for this video. Thank you for watching.